A warm good morning to all of you. I, Dr. Robin Chopra, Assistant Professor in Department of Physiotherapy at RP IIT Institute of Medical Sciences, Village Bastada, Karnal. I welcome you all in our YouTube channel that is RP IIT Academics. But before watching, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share and hit the bell icon. So let's start the topic. So today's topic is abdominal wall and rectus sheath. So we are continuing our topic with the abdominal wall and rectus sheath. Now coming to the most important part of the abdominal wall is the caput medusa. The superficial veins around the umbilicus and the para umbilical veins connecting them to the portal vein may become grossly distended in case of portal vein obstruction and the distended subcutaneous veins radiate out from the umbilicus producing in severe cases the clinical picture called caput medusa. As you see in the diagram this center point where the whole uh, venous system togetherly forms a junction is known as the caput medusa. So coming to the next that is what are the nerves. So basically the abdominal wall contains varieties of nerves and the nerves of the anterior abdominal wall supply the skin, muscles and the parietal peritoneum and they are derived from the anterior rami of the lower 6th thoracic and the first lumbar nerves and the inflammation of the parietal peritoneum causes pain in the overlying skin and also a reflex increase in the tone of the abdominal musculature in the same area. So it is represented in the given picture. So guys, hope so you all understand very well and for more information, please stay tuned, stay healthy, happy, till then take care, goodbye, farewell and please don't forget to like, subscribe, share and hit the bell icon. So till then take care.